So that was May 16th. But now Abbott is telling me it's going to take two weeks to clean the plant. Then it's going to take up to six to eight weeks more to get back to full production. And so, so Commissioner, th this is this is what I'm concerned about. I went through this whole timeline because by my my count, it took about four months from when the agency first became aware of these reported cases of Chronobacter to inspect the Sturgis plant. Then it took two more weeks for Abbott to stop production. And then it took three months more for FDA and Abbott to enter into a consent degree. Does that sound about right to you in terms of the time frame? I think you've got okay. it right. As you know, it's okay. all documented in your um in the testimony in great so, detail. Yeah, so so what what all of us are really concerned about, obviously, and the parents of America are concerned about, it could be up to a year between the first inspection in September last year and full production at this plant. And and at the same time, there the vulnerable infants and children are not getting their formula so i guess i guess you you referred to this that you have somebody looking into it do you have any idea why it took so long from the report to the inspection and recall and what's the plan to shorten the time in the future well first of all let me say you're right to be concerned and the public should be concerned as i've said already it was too slow and there were decisions that were suboptimal along the way and um, I'm sure you also know that as I was um, going through confirmation, I got many calls from people concerned about the food side of the FDA because of the lack of resources and concerns about the organizational structure. My basic plan has been to get through this crisis and then we will be looking at the overall food program from, from the perspective of reforming it, but not waiting. Um, to deal with the specifics of this case. This is where Dr. Solomon, who's a truth teller in the FDA and well known by everyone, will lead an effort to uh, help us get the processes corrected. What, what I do want to say is that is that I've been on this subcommittee for several decades now, and the food program at the FDA has it crops up time to time. We had the peanut butter crisis. We've had many, many crises over the years, and we always we always rush to to make that plant safe, clean it up. But ultimately, what we have to do is we work to have to work together. And I think you agree with this to put food back into Food and Drug Administration. We we have to not just throw money at it. We have to figure out what we need to do to make these inspections robust and then to shorten the time. Which so the first question for two minutes, um, the president has invoked the Defense Production Act. He's launched Operation Fly Formula. You're taking actions with Abbott. Um, how is this going to complement each other? It, will it be effective in getting this formula out quickly? Are you talking two weeks, three weeks, whatever, to get this shortage over with? And then as part of that, how will you get information distributed so we can tell our constituents how they get this formula, you know, the, the, how, how they have access to it so they can get it? That's two minutes. Sure. First of all, let me just say this is a war mentality. It is a crisis. We're fully aware of it. Families should not be searching for formula, but they have to do it now until we fill in. So if we several weeks out, we'll have a surplus of formula. When I say several, I can't say exactly how many weeks. Until then, we have to fill it in with all these measures. The other producers have stepped up. We're now importing. We're flying uh, military planes and other planes to pick it up uh, and, and bring it in. And we just have to keep filling in until we get to the point that the production is up. All right. Now, what, good news from Abbott. How about getting it out so that our constituents know how to get Formula. I'm very concerned that um, you do all this and they won't know uh, how to access it and still have a problem, particularly low income people, people that don't have access to information easily. Yes, I, I think it's really important for people to go to the HHS website, hhs.gov slash formula. Uh, there you'll find the hotline for all the manufacturers and helpful information uh, about where to go. The distribution is being handled by really professionals at supply chain who have been working throughout the pandemic with a variety of products. So as soon as it comes in, we'll get it 
to the places that are in the greatest need. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.